tracking, you're constantly seeing your money going up and down, up and down, up and down because you're trading on lower time frames. You're constantly watching the markets go up and down, up and down, up and down, and you're seeing your money go up and down, up and down. And guys, before you know it, you know your heart rate is beating, and before you know it, you're, you become hypertensive. Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the truth behind day trading. Like most of you guys that are joining the Forex market for the first time, a lot of you guys are probably lured into the market because you hear day trading is such a glamorous thing to do. Uh, personally, I'm a trader. I've been doing this thing called uh, FX trading for about eight years now. So I'm going to be you know, speaking to you guys today about the truth behind day trading. Is this something that you really want to be doing? Is this something that you want to quit your job and do full time? And are the brokers lying? Okay. The way they portray the ads, is it really true? Are you going to make all this money from day trading? So like I said, guys, in this video, I'm going to be speaking to you guys about the truth behind day trading. If you're interested in finding out the truth behind day trading, I suggest you stick around till the end of this video. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dapo Willis. Now, guys, uh, like I said earlier, today I'm going to be speaking about the truth behind day trading. Now, like I said, this video is for people who have seen ads about day trading, have seen very nice and flashy videos on you on youtube as to people who are portraying themselves to be day traders in quotes driving nice cars and stuff like that now the question is should you be doing day trading is day trading as simple as people make it seem so like i said in this video i'm going to be covering that but before i get into the juice of this video please do me a little favor kindly subscribe hit the subscribe button so that you know you guys can continue watching really nice videos from my channel and hit the bell button so that you get notified anytime i drop a video and of course you can drop me a nice comment as well just to say hey i love your video or thank you for helping me or thank you from saving me from losing all my money okay so right guys so the first thing i want to establish when it comes to day trading is the fact that um okay let me just tell you a little story about myself when i came into this market i actually wanted to be a day trader like i like the idea of sitting in front of my screen and just clicking buttons and making all this money like who does not want to not answer to a boss who does not excuse me who does not want to answer to a boss who does not want to sit in their house and just click click a couple of buttons and make all this money everybody wants to do that so that was me as well and guys, I started day trading with as little as $800 at the time. And you know, guys, it was, long story short, I lost all the money. Now, the reason I lost all the money was because of a couple of factors, which I'm going to be going over in this video. But the primary reason why I lost all my money was because of the mindset. I came into the market with a mindset of making, you know, so much money. If I just had $1,000, I can take $1,000 to $10,000 and I can make all this money sitting in my home from my laptop and just day trading. But guys, that was not the case. I love, listen guys, it took me two and a half years of my Forex trading career for me to become consistently profitable. All because I had the right, wrong mindset. All because I didn't have an edge in the market. All because I just simply did not understand how to trade properly. Technical analysis, risk the psychology, the psychology, the psychology behind trading and market psychology as well. So there are all these factors that are pretty much working against me. All right guys, so, I'm going, I'm going to be going over a list of things that you should take into consideration if you actually wanted to start day trading, okay? You really need to think about this before you get into day trading, all right, guys? So the first thing that you want to be thinking about in this market is the fact that you need to have an edge. As a day trader, you need to have an edge in this market. What do I mean by an edge? You need to have a pure understanding of technical analysis price action because you can't just come it's like a casino right the reason why a casino guys the reason why a casino will always outperform the people who go and play at the casino is because the casinos have an odds whereby they win 60 percent of the time probably 55 percent of the time okay whereas the remaining um 40% of the time they lose okay so they have a 20% edge sometimes the edge is even smaller the casino might win 55% of the time and the player might win 45% of the time but guys you see just that 10% that 10% edge is the reason why over a period of time, the casino will always outperform anybody who comes into the casino to play. And that's exactly how casinos make money. Same thing with the Forex market. If you come into this market and you do not have an edge in this market, chances are, chances are that over a period of time, the market is going to outperform you. So what I suggest for you to do is get yourself some education. Okay, learn how to do technical analysis. Understand fundamental analysis, okay? Day trading requires you sitting in front of your computer from nine till five. 
You need to be stuck in front of your computer from 9 to 5, constantly analyzing and choosing out the best possible trades. The best possible trade. How do you pick out the best possible trades if you can't even understand price action? How do you pick out the best possible trades if you do not even understand how to interpret the chart? So guys, you need to have, apart from even understanding price action, you need to have a solid strategy that you've tested over and over again, guys. You need to have a, a strategy that you have back tested for at least the last 10 years so that you are confident in your strategy. You are confident in going into this market. So guys, like I said earlier, you need, the first thing you need to have as a day trader is the fact that you need to have an edge in this market. All right, guys. Now guys, the second thing you need to have, the second thing you need to know about that, being a day trader is the fact that you need to understand how to do top-down analysis. Like I stress this so much, I see a lot of traders come on lower time frames and they are constantly doing the analysis on lower time frames. Now guys, this was me, I remember my first forex trading strategy was, the. I think I used to trade on the 30 minute time frame and my strategy literally, um, it was a moving average crossover. A lot of you guys who are coming to this market for the first time will actually stumble on this strategy. And for those of you who have been trading this market for a long time, you've probably come across this strategy I'm talking about, whereby if two moving averages cross over, once the two moving averages cross over, you either buy or sell. Let's say, um, usually I was using about the 100 moving average and the 10. Okay, so the 10 was a smaller moving average and the 100 was the bigger one, right? So when the 10 crossed over the 100, I would cross over to the downside, I would sell. And when it crossed over to the upside, I would buy. Now guys, this was my strategy at the time. I would make money sometimes and I would lose money sometimes. But over the long run, the strategy was proven not to work, okay? I was pro my win rate was probably at about um, 35%. Okay, so that wasn't good enough. So that's exactly why my strategy did not work. So guys, that's why I'm stressing. Moving average strategies do not work. Indicator strategies do not work. You need. Now, you've probably come across an ad. You've probably come across some guru who's using some special tool, who's using some special indicator for their trading. And you're probably thinking once you install that indicator into your into your charts, you would probably be able to, you know, be able to know where to buy and where to sell. But that's not the case. Indicators do not work in this market. You need to learn how to do what they call top-down analysis. Guys, top-down analysis is basically when you're able to do your analysis from a higher time frame to a lower time frame, okay? Because two and a half years into my trading, I was trading on lower time frames. I could only see the problem about trading on lower time frames is that you can only see what's happening on a smaller time frame. So, guys, you need to go to a higher time frame to basically go and understand the general perspective of the market because the market can be in a bullish trend on a higher time frame. Okay, the market can, for instance, GBPUSD at the moment is bearish overall. However, temporarily it is bullish. So imagine the overall trend is saying sell, but on the 30 minutes and 15 minutes is telling you buy. What's gonna happen is that over a period of two, three, four, five trades, you're gonna get crushed. You might be lucky on the rebound buying for the first trade. You might be lucky on the rebound buying on the second trade. However, guys, on the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten trades, chances are that the market is going to correct back to its original direction. The original direction is always what's happening on a higher time frame. I'll take that again, guys. What you see on a lower time frame is never the full gist. What you see on a lower time frame is never the overall perspective. If I had used uh, this top-down analysis approach when I first started learning how to trade, when I was new to this market, I would not have been getting to, into a lot of those trades I was getting into. Nothing is wrong with using your smaller time frame strategy. However, you need to be able to analyze from top to bottom very important so that i mean because like i said the market might be bullish so if your smaller time frame strategy is telling you to sell you know that the overall perspective is bullish is up is long go buy everybody's going as in literally the big boys are looking at buy opportunities but your smaller time frame strategy is telling you to sell you should know that i'm not going to be selling this market because my lower time frame strategy is telling me to sell because the overall perspective is bullish Guys, I can't even stress this enough, literally. If the higher time frame is telling you to buy and your lower time frame is telling you to sell, stick to what the higher time frame is telling you guys. So this is exactly what I mean by top-down analysis. Analyzing from the top all the way to the bottom and then using your smaller time frame strategy to execute. 
Guys, you need to execute in the same direction as the overall trend. I cannot stress this enough, okay? Analyze from top to bottom and execute on what you see on your lower time frame. Very, very important, guys. Now, guys, the third thing I like to highlight about um, being a day trader is the fact that it's actually quite time consuming. Like, I remember when I started day trading, I would literally wake up in the morning, literally, you think I had a nine to five. I'll sit in front of my computer and I'll be grinding out, like, I'll be doing all the analysis and I'll be sat there waiting for the opportunities to set up all the indicators needed to set up and stuff like that. So, guys, day trading is so time consuming. Do not think that you're gonna go into day trading and live your best life. Never. You would almost never see the sun when it's coming up and when it's going down literally because you'll be stuck in front of your computer trying to make some pips so the, all the ads that you see or once you get into being once you become a day trader you can get, completely become liberated in this market or you become liberated you know from the nine to five that's a lie that's a fucking lie because you will be stuck in front of your computer okay so you need to really think about it right what is the odd what is the opportunity cost of being a day trader okay what is the opportunity cost for instance if you do not have a massive amount of capital right and you're probably being a day trader right at the end of the year you're probably looking to make even if you make a hundred percent return on your investment right and your capital is probably about i don't know maybe ten thousand dollars because a lot of people who are coming to this market do not have that uh, luxury of a large capital size. So if you're coming to this market and your, your, your return on investment at the end of the year is 100%, which, which I highly doubt, if you have 10 grand, okay, and you're looking to make a 100% return on investment at the end of the year, 100% return on investment at the end of the year is $10,000, okay? So that means you made $10,000 in profit at the end of the year. You need to calculate your opportunity cost. How much would you have made working for somebody else? I know a lot of the jobs pay upwards of 50, 60, 70 K at the end of the year. Now this depends on what part of the world you are in. If you are in the UK, okay, so you probably make about 24 K as a big, as a, as a entry level graduate. But you know, for people who are a lot more advanced in their nine to five careers, you're probably making about 50 to 60K at the end of the year. So if you really think about it, right, 10K isn't a lot of money, okay, compared to 60K. So what I'm trying to say in essence is that you need to really think about this day trading thing because you can potentially be making a lot more money with your normal regular nine to five than you'd ever make from day trading. So capital is also a very huge factor. So guys, what is the opportunity cost of day trading all right guys like i was saying guys day trading can be quite time consuming do not think that you're going to be liberated from your you know nine to five hustle just because you started day trading day trading can be quite time consuming right. now guys the fourth thing you need to consider when you're going to day trading is the fact that day trading is actually an emotional roller coaster guys <sighs> Man, the things I've seen in this market, like guys, you will literally, you will literally cry. Like I'm so happy, like you know, I'm actually quite profitable now, and I'm making all these people. Guys, my journey at the beginning was so terrible, guys. Day trading is such an emotional roller coaster because imagine you're constantly seeing your money going up and down, up and down, up and down because you're trading on lower time frames. You're constantly watching the markets go up and down, up and down, up and down, and you're seeing your money go up and down, up and down. And guys, before you know it, you know your heart rate is beating, and before you know it, you're, you become hypertensive. Now, I remember I went to the hospital a couple of uh, weeks ago and they, they checked my blood pressure. My blood pressure was 140 over 100. 140 over 100 now um they actually told me that uh that's so much for my age and you know the doctor started to ask me why is your blood pressure so high and i told him he said what do you do for a living and i said i'm a financial trader i was like i now i understand why you know guys now it's 140 over 100 now it's still pretty high right now because whilst i was a day trader my blood pressure used to spike up so high and you know, your blood pressure pretty much has a threshold. Once it spikes over a certain region, okay, you automatically become hypertensive. So day trading made me hypertensive because I was constantly watching my money go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And you know, just, just goes to show you that day trading can actually be a health hazard. Now you're probably wondering, oh my days, day trading is such a bad thing. How do I go about solving? I'm not saying trading is bad, but day trading 
it's actually an emotional roller coaster. So what exactly did I do for me to become, you know, consistently profitable? Was it day trading? Guys, it was not day trading. What is my hack to day trading? My hack to day trading, literally, is the fact that I had to understand that, listen, this is an emotional roller coaster, okay? Um, I'm, I can't, there needs to be a way like, I can't be sat in front of my computer constantly monitoring this stuff. Like, this thing is absolutely driving me insane. Now, guys, what I started to do was I started trading on higher time frames, okay? Whereby I would do my analysis on a higher time frame. I would execute on a lower time frame. But because on a higher time frame, if I could do an analysis, usually my take profit is anywhere between 350 to 500 pips. So what I'll do is I'll come on a lower time frame. No. Higher time frame, I'll do my analysis, my take profit 350 to 500 pips. Then I will come on a lower time frame, execute the trade for about a 50 pip stop loss, and then I'll take set my take profit about at about between 350 to 500 pips TP. So what this helped me do was I can set the trade and then I can go and do other things that I need to do in my life. Okay, because in order for the market to accumulate 500 pips or move 500 pips in a certain direction. What this means is that this needs to happen over a period of time. So it takes time. What I'm trying to say is that it takes time. So once I set my trade with a 50 pip stop loss, then I can go and do other stuff while the market accumulates all these pips in my favor. So guys, this was absolutely fantastic for me. I didn't have to sit in front of my, because whilst I was sat in front of my computer, I was never making up to 500 pips. Now, all I, whereas all I do right now is I set one trade and then the market makes 500 pips for me. I think that's the better strategy for, for you guys to go after because there's no point sat in front of your computer. Constantly monitoring this market is absolutely crazy. It's an emotional roller coaster. So it wasn't until I started doing that. It wasn't until I started analyzing on a higher time frame, coming down to a lower time frame, and then placing trades and allowing the market to make money for me. Literally, the market was making money for me. On, it wasn't until that that my blood pressure actually started coming down. I was, you know, my blood pressure, before it was a lot higher than 140 over 100, but you know, what actually started to bring my blood pressure down was the fact that I would place a trade and then I'll go do other things, spend time with my family, travel, and do other businesses that I love to do and allow the market to make money for me. Now guys, last but not least, day trading is an absolute rat race because you realize that you get into a trade, you make uh, 30 pips, get into another trade, lose 40 pips, now you're down minus 10 pips, 15 pips plus, minus 5 pips, on up and down, and then at the end of the day, you find out that you probably made only 25 pips at the end of the day. And at the end of the week, you find out that you only made 50 pips, and at the end of the month, you find out that you probably only made maybe about, I don't know, maybe 100 or 60, 160 pips to 200 pips. Now guys, this is an absolute rat race because you're winning, losing, winning, losing. There's, there's, not, there's no systematic approach to your trading. Day trading is a rat race. The most sustainable way to go about this is trading once or twice a month, making 10 to 20% consistently. Guys, personally, I trade only once, between once to three times in a month. Please, the first trade, let it happen, place the second trade, let it happen, place the third trade. Probably once or twice in a month and I'm done. Because you have to understand that I understand how to do top-down analysis. I analyze from a higher perspective. So I can see the general perspective of the market. So once you can see the general perspective of the market, I come to a lower time frame, place the trades, and then I can go and do other things. I can make, all, literally I make more money being a passive trader than people who are constantly sat in front of their screen day trading. I make more money as a passive trader, trading just once or twice a month than somebody who sits in front of their screen every day trading. So guys, these are the things that I need you to know about day trading. Feel free if you want to be a trader. If you feel you have an edge in this market, feel free to go ahead and start day trading. But guys, that's not the way to go about it. The best way to be a Forex trader is to use the Forex market as an investment vehicle. 10 to 20% a month. Risk 3% to make 10%. Trade once or twice a month and then you're fine. Guys, I don't know why you guys think you can flip your account in a month. You cannot flip your account in a month. That's gambling. 
day trading is actually gambling as far as I'm concerned. If you want to actually have a sustainable income from the forex market, you need to treat the market as an investment vehicle and not an ATM machine. Not, not You don't need to treat the market like a casino. Treat it like an investment vehicle. And guys, once you're able to treat this market like an investment vehicle, it will go ahead and reward you like an investment vehicle. All right, guys, so on that note, I hope I've been able to shed some light on day trading if you've ever you know thought about this before drop me a comment below if you think this video has been very helpful to you if you feel this video has saved you from losing a lot of money from day trading i suggest you drop me a comment below so that you know just come drop me a comment below so that we can just talk about you know your experience because i know a lot of people are losing so much money in this market because they're sat in front of their computer day trading day in and day out all right guys on that note i'm gonna leave you guys Feel free to check um, in the suggestion somewhere around. I'll probably drop, you know, another video, you know, that might be similar to this one. Feel free to watch any of my other videos. I go in depth as to how you should be going about your trading. All right, guys, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys in my very next video. Love you guys and take it easy. Bye, cheers, and bye, 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 take it away.